I'm Chris Rollison, and we're back for part two of Social Business Disruption of B2B Sales and Marketing. In part one, we revealed key market forces and showed how social business was beginning to disrupt B2B sales and marketing. We discussed how social business works to the advantage of firms that know how to use it. Here in part two, I'm delighted to present several case studies that show social business in action. Servalens designs and markets a medical device that enables obstetric nurses and midwives to predict whether a mother is likely to have a premature birth. Servalens' use of conferences and social business offers some good practices and pitfalls from which we can learn. Servalens unveiled its product publicly at a major industry conference. Several weeks before the event, Servalens hired an agency to launch a Facebook page that would appeal to nurses and midwives. Critically, they had employees with obstetrics knowledge responding and engaging with readers. Servalens added credibility to its page by allowing and responding to passionate and critical posts from people who didn't understand the device and what it did, or who harbored disappointment with birth experiences and medical care. The page succeeded in attracting two to 3,000 likes who were mostly nurses and midwives, and Servalens credits its Facebook page with increasing its booth traffic at the conference. Lessons learned. Servalens approached social business as a way to support legacy processes. A review of their Facebook activity reveals a solid job in posting relevant thought leadership and responding to readers. However, Servalens's page leaves money on the table. Although they've liked other relevant pages, their Facebook posts don't show significant outreach to them, which would result in much faster growth. Related to this, the page does show some organic posts by obstetrics nurses and midwives, but Servalens has been reactive to their audience instead of proactively courting interaction, which would result in more interactivity, engagement, and audience. Insights Servalens shows a solid stage one social business effort because it's mostly focused on content. White papers, research, and other value-added information can attract people, but only interaction increases their commitment and keeps them coming back. More than 90% of people who like a Facebook page never return. Ever. In platforms like Facebook, interactions get broadcast to readers' networks as a function of the platform algorithms, so pages need to interact if they want to tap the network effect. That requires enlisting relevant thought leaders, responding consistently, and actively promoting discussion by asking people their opinions. Don't miss the study guide at the end of this video. It summarizes this case's key points. Just pause the tape to study any slide in more detail. Also catch part one and all of part two's case studies in manufacturing, healthcare, supply chain, financial services, and more at the URL below. It's also full of slide decks, articles, and papers. They're all dedicated to using social business to reach a new level of competitiveness in B2B sales and marketing, as well as other enterprise functions. In part three, I'll outline a process by which you can begin evolving your B2B sales and marketing processes using social business. I'll see you next time.